Crystal here from Elite Hair Care. So today's client, unfortunately, had a traumatic experience with her hairline. She's natural and her hairline is severely compromised. So we did what we call a virgin relaxer and added a couple extensions to the front of her hair. Right now, the extensions have already been added. Yes, they were glued in only because her hair is very fine in texture. And of course, her hairline is severely compromised. So I added about four different tracks throughout the top part of her head. She is fully relaxed around the sides and the back to get that area that was um, severely damaged um, or broken off blended in. But on the top, I actually just did a very mild texturizer because I wanted to preserve as much volume as possible on her hair. The back and sides of her hair is uniformly cut, uniformly cut. And then the top, of course, is layered and ready just for, you know, a short style. For the back of her head, I'm just basically trying to blend the bottom just a little bit more only because you don't want to leave that much weight on the bottom of the head near the occipital bone. But her hair is very sparse, so be careful whenever you're doing something of the sort where you're blending a client with troubled areas. I'm using the Legacy Ceramic Iron. I don't think they actually make this iron any longer, but definitely I'll look for one, and if I find one, I will put a link down below. But... Another iron that I also highly suggest whenever you're doing any of your services is the H2 Pro 1 inch or 1 and 3 fourths of an inch iron. I will leave that link down below as well. That's actually, this iron is about five years old that I'm using, but I didn't have um, an alternative to this until I found the H2 Pro. So the H2 Pro is an alternative to the Legacy Iron. It works just the same. And I, like I said, we'll put a link down below. Now, if you notice, I'm doing large sections when I'm curling and I'm doing it in a vertical motion because that allows me to cover more ground at one time without actually working too hard and going piece by piece. But of course, you're welcome to curl her any way you like. This works for me and hopefully it'll work for you as well. Now, a pro tip is I did pre-silk her hair before I actually put the tracks in, only because I wanted to have an even playing ground when I put the, when I put the tracks in. And also, of course, when I'm styling her, I don't want to be silking and styling at the same time. It's all about working smarter and not harder. Can you guys see those layers? Yes. Yes, we gave her volume, we gave her texture, we gave her movement, and this baby is ready. I'm using a wide tooth comb just to comb through her feathers. And at this point, we are basically done with the style, um, basically, about 100%. And of course, I'm going to give her, you know, just a little drama towards the face. And then towards her back, I utilize majority of her hair just to not take away from the fact that we have, of course, not trying to make her fully weavological. Yeah, <laughs> I just made that word up. And then, of course, on the sides and the back, I did edge her using my Andis T-liner clippers, which I will also put a link in the bio down below. She did not want drastic sideburns, which for the what she has going on, I technically don't remember like recommend that kind of sideburn but look at this hair she is all done sides masked and she is looking amazing be sure to click the subscribe link thanks